Hello, I'm Frank with Advanced RV. A van called Alvar up on the lift and uh, wanted to take a minute to show you some of the things that uh, have been changing with uh, our current builds. Um, look at uh, the way we do our uh, winterization and uh, anti-freeze um, solution. We use our glycol that runs through the van for our hot water and we also do a, a air to uh, glycol heat exchanger. We take the excess energy and we bundle it with all of our plumbing and we have uh, it, it insulated in with the hot and cold um, water lines. They, uh, they in turn stay warm down to, uh, we've had the vans down to about 15 degrees without uh, freezing issues. Uh, when you're getting ready for winter, we've got our uh, winterization valve that's under the van. We have a cap here where you uh, can put a line onto your uh, RV antifreeze and close or open this valve, close the valve to the tank and it'll suck the RV antifreeze up through the entire van and it's just a matter of uh, turning on each faucet and getting the antifreeze up into the van. Um, we only have one wet trap in the van and that is in the shower. The rest of them are HEPA valves so they don't need to have antifreeze sitting in them through the winter. Then when you close this and put the cap back on, the only thing you need to do in the spring is just rinse out the lines with the fresh water. One of the other things that we've changed to uh, reduce the weight of the van we now, instead of steel um, structural membranes, we use a welded aluminum with uh, the galvanized steel uh, J-hooks. The aluminum is a much lighter material than the steel channel we were using. Another part of the uh, winterization package that we have is, and we talked about the glycol, we have an indenture in the tank that the heated glycol runs all the way along the tank behind this reflective insulation. And that's what keeps our freshwater tank from freezing in the cold weather. Another change with the higher current uh, alternators that we're doing and the, the charging system that we have with our new batteries, which we'll cover in a little bit, um, we have a four aught um, copper cable that runs from the front of the alternator all the way back to the battery packs to be able to uh, contain or be able to transfer all of the current that we uh, use for charging our battery packs. This is our newest battery system. Uh, this particular van has 800 amp hours of lithium batteries in it. Um, when we constructed this uh, battery storage compartment, it's made out of fiber, half inch fiberglass that allows some um, insulation properties. So that helps keep the batteries warm as well as there are heaters built inside the storage compartment to make sure that the batteries do not uh, bulk charge uh, you know, below 32 degrees. To protect the whole area, because that's fiberglass, we have this heavy uh, aluminum plate uh, skid protector um, with reinforcements. It goes right to the frame to protect the battery compartment.